everyone, it's Hannah and today I am going to show you a really cute, really easy DIY. It is to make these really cute crochet teddy bear lolly things. They are super adorable and incredibly easy to make so even if you're brand new to crochet you'll be able to pick this up in no time. You may notice that I'm filming in a slightly different place. I am filming in my bedroom today. The lighting is really good because the sun is shining and I have the blinds open and also had a tidy up yesterday. Even though it might not look very tidy compared to what it was, this is pristine. So I've officially been on YouTube for just over one year and if you'd have seen Friday's video then you'd already know this. So I wanted to make something birthday and so I was going to make teddy cupcakes, little crochet teddy cupcakes and then I'd seen that Fly Mia has already done that and so I adapted because that is what we humans do best. I was going to make little Swiss roll slices which is what these were originally going to be then I found some lolly sticks and it spiralled. Get it? Yeah. Here all week. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and without any further ado let's get on with the tutorial shall we? So to make these really cute bear lollies you are going to need some fabric glue. I'm using double knit yarn today. You're going to need some white felt for his little nose area, some embroidery thread to sew his nose. I'm using a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook today. You're going to need a yarn needle to sew your ends in, a needle small enough to go through the glass beads that I'm using which are four millimeter beads so I've just got a dinky needle there. A slightly larger needle to sew on the facial features using the embroidery thread, your scissors and a lolly stick. So we're starting with the inside colour, we're going to make a slip knot and then we are going to chain 31. So to chain it's just yarn over and pull through so I'm going to do that 31 times. Okay, so I've chained 31, now I'm going to do a UK double crochet, which is a US single crochet, in the second chain from my hook. So this is the first chain and this is the second. So hook in, yarn over, pull through the first loop, yarn over again and pull through both loops. And I'm just going to do one double crochet in each stitch all the way down. So it should be 30 in total. Okay, and then once you get to the end, you're going to chain one, which is what we did in the beginning, yarn over and pull through. Turn your work so you're going back the other way and repeat. So we're going to skip the chain, we're not going through that one. We're going through the first stitch and we're just going to double crochet or US single crochet the whole way down for 30 stitches. Okay, and then we're going to finish off by snipping up an end, yarn over the hook and pull through the loop and there is your inside of your lollipop done. Now I'm going to do the outside of the lollipop which we are going to start in the exact same way and we're going to chain 37 this time. So yeah. So I have my 37 chain and much like before I'm going to go into the second chain from the hook and I'm going to do one double crochet or US single crochet into each of the chains much like before. So I'm going to have 36 double crochet or US single crochet in total. And once again chain one, so yarn over, pull through, turn your work around. Skipping the chain, going through the first double crochet that you did we are going to do another row of double crochet going into each of the stitches. And we're finishing off once again, leaving a nice long tail this time because we're going to use that to sew it all together. And snip that off and then reintroduce your other piece. I'm going to sew in one end of my filling because we only need one end and I'm just going to do this loosely then taking the other end I'm going to sew them together and I'm just going to do that using a basic running stitch and snip off any excess 
and then I'm just going to roll them together. If you find that your inside piece is actually longer than the outside piece, because I forgot that this yarn is slightly thicker than the yarn that I used for the outside, that is not a problem. There is a reason we left an end. So I'm just going to hold my inside piece in place and I'm just going to loosely tack it into place. And then just sew through a few layers. And then taking my outside piece just going to pull it nice and tight, get all my ends out of the way. And just to keep it all in place and to make sure it doesn't come undone, just sew through the layers a few times. How cute is that? Ah. Okay. This one definitely has a front and a back. This is definitely the front. just pop a stick in and leave it as is but why wouldn't you want to add a cute little bare face in a couple of ears really so you can make the ears using any color that you like it can be matching it can be contrasting it can be anything and I'm going to teach you a new technique as well it is the magic ring I always found them a little bit difficult and I'm still not comfortable with using them but that's fine here is the end of my yarn I am taking my yarn round my two first fingers, making sure the tail is in front and wrapping that round. And I'm just going to tuck that under my little finger for the time being and that will hold it in place. And I'm just going into the ring like so. So this is the bit that the tail's attached to. So I'm going up through there, hooking through that other thread or other piece of yarn picking it up again and just pulling it through and there I have sort of the anchoring stitch as it were so now you just insert your hook into the ring as though it was a stitch and I'm going to be doing six double crochet or US single crochet like so and that's all the crochet that you need to do for the ears so I'm going to snip it off leaving a tail and finish off there and then to close up the magic circle you pull that tail of yarn that you had at the beginning and it will close it up and make a nice little circle so I'm just going to repeat that for the other ear and I will be right back. Okay, so I have both of my ears just here and I'm going to sew in one of the ends and then sew them on to my little lollipop that I've got going on.
So now our little bear lolly has ears, which is super cute. Now it's time for the face. So out of this piece of felt, I am going to cut an approximate circle. If it's imperfect, it means it's special. So now I'm just going to sew a little nose and a little mouth onto the circle of white felt that I've just cut out. There we go. Cute, no? And all of you sewers are going to hate me because I've just snipped the ends off and I haven't tied a knot. No fear, fabric glue is here. I'm going to cover the back in fabric glue. You know that I use fabric glue for everything, but actually I am sticking fabric to fabric, so... Or textile to textile, anyway. Make sure the ends that you are just snipped off are covered. Line it up, get covered in glue, and stick it on. Now I'm going to take the last needle, and I forgot to get some thread. And I'm just going to attach my eyes wherever I'd want them to go. And your teddy lolly is complete. They are super cute. Love them. So now you know how easy it is to make one of your little teddy bear lollies. Super easy and super quick actually for a crochet project anyway. As I said in the introduction, it would mean a lot to me if you did hit that thumbs up button. It helps me out and I love to hear feedback from you. So also don't forget to leave a comment down below if you have something to say. Let's get a little conversation going, no? And why not hit subscribe? I post a new video here every Sunday and sometimes a bonus one in the week as well. I am soon going to Frankfurt for a little holiday before I move out there in August, but we're going on a little holiday in a couple of weeks and I asked on Instagram if people wanted to see me vlog it and I got a lot of positive responses, so you might see a vlog coming up here at some point as well. If you want me to film a video on anything in particular, then please don't forget to request it in the comment section below so then I can make it and show you how to make it and everything can be made and everything can be dandy. Oh, I forgot to say, if you do make anything using one of my tutorials, I would love to see a picture of it. So please feel free to post a picture of it on Instagram with the hashtag The Corner of Craft so I can check it out, see how talented you all are and we can all have a great time. Along with Instagram, I do have other various social media sites and the links to all of those will be in the description box below, as always. But yes, thank you very much once again for watching and I shall see you in my next video. Bye!